back to my channel or if you're new hi i'm glad you're here ignore my appearance this is my i had class at 9 a.m and couldn't be bothered to make myself look cute so that's what we're giving today but that's not the point also i'm using natural lighting hopefully that doesn't end up being a bad idea but we'll see so for today's video i'm going to be doing my september favorites i wanted to do these start doing these every month i didn't do one for august unfortunately because the end of the month just sneaks up on me and i'm like oh the month is over and i feel like if i do it after the fact it's just weird so here i am today is september 30th this video will go up on october 2nd which is saturday which is my uploading day but um yeah so here are my september favorites i'm cutting it close with this one but yeah I'm not gonna lie, I have not been wearing makeup like that. Like, besides when I'm filming, I, or going somewhere, like, you know, going somewhere, I haven't been wearing makeup like that. So, I don't really have uh, a lot of makeup items to show you for this month, but I do have one, so I'm gonna show you that first. This is the item Brow Chow Ultra Fine Brow Definer. This is from my uh, July Ipsy bag. I think it was July. July or August. I'm pretty sure it was July. But um, I absolutely love this thing. I like just the way that it like... Just like the consistency of the product and the way it makes my brows look. Because it doesn't make them look too harsh. Um, it's got the little... I don't know what you want to call it. It's not exactly a pencil, but it's almost like a pomade in a pencil form. But it's got that on this end, and it's got the little brush, which I like how this little brush is because I feel like it does a really good job of um, blending the product out. And again, it doesn't look too harsh. This is the shade uh, Deep Brunette, which works for me. Um, my hair, everywhere except the hair on my head, like my eyebrows and my eyelashes and all that, are... Um, my hair is black, but I use brown eyebrow things because I don't want my eyebrows to look too dark. So yeah, this is the shade Deep Brunette. The next thing I have is this Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. I know I'm late to the party on this one. I know everyone's been using this, but um, I just recently started using it and I really like it. It um, leaves my lips feeling really smooth and i like it a lot now is there a cheaper alternative i don't know um i haven't gotten that far into it i got this for my birthday gift at sephora so this is just like a little one but um yeah it's definitely worth trying out if i can find a dupe for you guys i'll let you know because i feel like that's like my purpose at this point but yeah if i can find a dupe for it i'll definitely let you guys know but yeah i really like this one this is the uh berry one I just realized the other day that they have like other flavors or whatever. There's like a grapefruit one and then something else. But yeah, this one is the berry one. Okay, I lied. I do have another makeup product. This is the Maybelline Banana Powder. I think I've used it in a video before or mentioned it. But I really, really like it. And like I said, I haven't been wearing makeup like that. But um, the days that I do wear makeup, I really like this. Um... It's just, it, it does the job. It does the job. My skin is very, very oily, so it just makes my skin matte. It keeps it matte. Um, I can reapply this throughout the day, and I don't feel like my skin looks cakey, or like I don't feel like I'm just like covered in powder, you know? So, yeah, I like this a lot. Um, it just, when you pull it off, it's just like a regular like powder thing. You can shake it out or whatever. So, yeah, this is the Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. So, it isn't like a, um, I don't know if this comes in different shades. I don't think that's really necessary since it's just like a translucent powder. It's just like your standard banana translucent powder. So, I don't know that this comes in different shades, but it doesn't have a shade name on here. So, yeah, but you can use this to bake or you can just sweep it over your like oily areas like I do I just put it basically everywhere that I put my concealer under eyes maybe like here forehead 
just anywhere that I put concealer basically I put this on top and it looks fabulous I also feel like it kind of tones down any like yellowy tones and like my foundation or my concealer or whatever like it kind of tones down like the yellow and the orangish kind of if you're like a person of color you know the struggle of having you know the yellow or the orange like makeup so yeah I th think it tones that down just a little bit the next thing that I have is this Sephora mask um I got this from Marshalls for only $2.99 which is a steal um and I bought more than one of these but this one I've really been loving this is the uh Sephora hemp mousse mask and it's like a um I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely, it's like a shaving cream material. It's weird. But I like it because it makes my skin feel really smooth after. This is uh, supposed to be anti-blemish and anti-imperfections. But yeah, my skin feels really, really smooth after I use it and clean. So I really like this one. The next thing I have is an oldie but a goodie. And I've been using it a lot here lately. This is the uh, Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Body Spray. I have body spray to last me probably a lifetime, but I went through a phase where I wasn't using it as much as I was before, and now I'm back to using it every day. So, um, yeah, I like to use one at a time though. So I've been using this one. This is the one I'm using right now. As you can see, it's like half, half gone, but uh, I've loved this one for a while. I, I don't know, have I ever rebought this? Because I've liked this for a long time, but like I said, I just started like getting back into wearing all my perfumes and stuff. I don't know why I wasn't wearing them before, but yeah, this is the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction. It's a very sweet smell. It's a very sweet flowery smell, but it's one that I can get into because usually, I mean, I like sweet stuff but I, to an extent, but I also like the fresh smelling stuff. But this one is sweet and flowery, but it's one that I like. Um, if you guys remember when Justice had perfume, and they had like all the different like I forgot if they were like colors or if they were like like if they called them like if they called them by the color if they called them by the scent but I had this yellow one and I swear to god it smelled exactly the same so this is like nostalgic for me but I mean I love this perfume anyway it just smells really really good so if you like sweet stuff or flowery stuff this is probably a good choice for you the next thing I have has been my lifeline this is the onyx bathhouse foaming body scrub I got this from Marshalls as well I know you can find it at like Marshalls TJ Maxx all those stores um but I really like this I wasn't for it at first because it says it's foaming but it's not really foaming if you ask me it's just like um you rub it in and it kind of like lathers almost like a soap but yeah I really like it this is a new scent I actually haven't tried yet this is the beach vacay scent with coconut oil in it uh, let me see if I can get this open so I can smell it. But yeah, I really like these scrubs now. Like, I, and I still, I love me some tree hut. But these scrubs, I've been, I've been loving. Um, ooh, this smells very, like, fruity and summery. But, um, this one I've been loving because it leaves my skin feeling very, very, very smooth. But it doesn't feel irritated or anything. So, I really like this. I feel like it does a good job of exfoliating so next thing I have you've probably heard of before but I've been using a little bit more than I normally do I don't know why I'm working out but who knows uh, these are the mighty patches and they're by hero I've, I had to think about it cuz I'm like I don't even know do these things have a brand I don't know but yeah this is just a 24 pack like $7.99 which is kind of expensive for little patches but they do the job um I usually put these on if I want to use one I usually put them on like before bed and let them sit like while I sleep or whatever um because you're supposed to leave them on for a minimum of six hours for them to work so yeah I usually just put them on before I go to bed and I just sleep with one on but yeah, they just come like this. Or they come in like a little band-aid looking package, but I already took that off. So yeah, they come like this. And you got all your little packages here. And you can, um, they're kind of clear-ish. 
so you can wear them under your makeup or whatever and nobody's gonna really know or I mean even if you don't have makeup on they're kind of clear and not really that noticeable so I like that as well just in case you have to wear one out but I usually just wear it to bed so that I don't have to worry about wearing it outside the house but yeah you have to leave it on for six hours for it to work but it does work to me or for me it like just pulls everything out so that I'm not just squeezing at my face just scarring my skin so okay guys so the last thing that i have i actually got in my uh ipsy refreshments this last go around and they are the refreshments cleansing face wipes which isn't that exciting i mean they're just face wipes but i like these ones because i feel like they get rid of the oil like sometimes i feel like some face wipes like you wipe your face but it's like five seconds later you're oily again you know what i mean so like these ones i feel like i can wipe my face and it gets rid of the oil and then i'm i can go a couple hours like and i'm it keeps the oil at bay i guess i could say but yeah these actually do like make my face feel clean because i like to use face wipes sometimes like i said if i'm not wearing makeup then i like to use face wipes it's just freshen up throughout the day and these actually make my face feel clean as if i like wash my face so okay guys so that is it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed i'm gonna try to do these every month from here on out if i actually have like new things that i like am using and loving at the moment i mean sometimes it's the same stuff but yeah if i have new things i'm gonna try to do these for you guys every month but with that being said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time Oh, 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 oh,